this pawpaw again. Yeah, it's cold out here. <laughs> my dad, my dad came up with an idea when I was 12 years old. And I remember him telling me about it at the dinner table. And he said, why couldn't they invent a fork that has a sharp edge on one side so that you could use it like a knife to cut up whatever you're eating and then eat with it. And I said, well, Dad, you might slice your mouth open. He said, well, I could be more careful than that. And I've thought about that off and on for years, for 44 years, 50, 54 years. That's rummage bounced around in my head a time or two. So the other day I was, I, I was thinking about it and I said, all right. I went to Dollar Tree and bought some cheap silverware. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what my daddy suggested. I'm going to sharpen one side of this fork so a man can use it as a knife and a fork. And I was saying, well, I wonder what to call it. And uh, I said, five, that ain't, that don't work. So I said, knife and fork. Well, how about a nork? So I said, that's what I'll call it. So I get on. I get on Google to look up Nork, N-O-R-K, and I'll be darn somebody done beat me to it. They sell them on, uh, they sell them on online, a Nork, N-O-R-K. Well, just out of, just out of remembrance from my daddy, I'm going to go ahead and make one right now and let y'all see, I'm going to let y'all see me make it. And then we'll take the camera in the house and we'll test it, okay? <laughs> a nork. Who ever heard of such a foolish thing? A nork. Pretty thick, pretty thick side on it there. Ooh, that's hot. So I'm sharpening the southern side. Now I didn't take it down razor sharp because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to slice my mouth open. But I've got it like what you call butter knife sharp, you know. So I think this is going to work. I'm gonna take it in the house and see. Yeah. All right. Let's go in the house. All right. So we in the house, and uh, I've washed it off. I put it in my mouth and run the sharp edge against the inside of my lip to make sure it wouldn't slice me open. I don't have it razor sharp. Like I said, I got it. Sharp like it may be a butter knife. And uh, 
Couldn't find any hot dogs here to, to demonstrate with, but I found I found a link sausage. So let's, let's see how this works. I ain't got a clue. Okay. This side is the factory side, the, the dull side. So let's see what this thing does here. It mashed it, but it didn't cut it. So now then we're going to try the, the sharp side. The dull side. The dull side, all it does is just squeeze the meat out and the sharp side. By Jove, I think we've got it. Papa's, Daddy's, Nork. All right. Like I said, I can't, I can't claim uh, that I invented this because somebody's already beat us to it. But I ain't never seen one made. do better like on, on uh, hot dogs and I bet if that sausage was cooked it'd cut through it better too but that was an ultimate test because that little skin that's on them that little skin casing that's on them little, little uh, sausages don't cut real easy but the nork did it I'm going to go out there and I think I'm going to maybe get a little bit sharper well folks that's a that's just a little little something from Paul Paul uh, if you get an idea act on it do something about it you know heck if I done something about this 44 years ago maybe maybe the patent would have me and my daddy's name on it who knows <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up, see when the Nork was invented. And I'll put it at the end of the video. The Nork was invented such as this does. Okay. Anyway, the Nork. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Please subscribe and tell your friends. I'm about that close to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you again. Merry Christmas. Dull side. Sharp side. <laughs> Dull side. Short side. All right.